Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mish and today I have a very, very exciting video for you. I am going to be reviewing and having first impressions of the very exciting Scott Barnes full brush set and I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, so this is the package. I have not opened it okay because I really wanted to have the first impressions on camera for you guys so you can experience the same amount of excitement as I'm about to experience this package came inside of this package I'm not gonna flip it around because my address is on here so I'm gonna keep my privacy intact so it came into this package okay and it looks like this I have not opened it yet um, because I wanted to do it on camera so I'm gonna open it So excited. I've been waiting for two days to do this. Ooh. All right. Oh, here they are. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. And I can barely see them. I took the liberty to take everything out of these sleeves and protecting caps cover for the brushes. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten brushes all together. Five face and five eyes. So, I mean, they're definitely multitasking. I can tell by looking at them. But, um, oh my God, I'm so excited. Here we go. All right, so here we go. We're going to start with the face brush. This is Scott Barnes number 67. And it is a beautiful, large powder brush you can definitely see how nice and silky soft these are it's nice and large this could definitely be something that you can use to powder bronzer all over your body because it's very dense but very soft very large if you need to powder your whole face with this you totally could if you need to bronze loosely you can translucent powder bronzer body brush it is a beautiful black handle. The ferrule is a matte black and it's all synthetic fiber. So this is all vegan and cruelty free. So it looks like this. And it's, I mean, I'm telling you, I own a lot of brushes. I've been collecting my brushes for over 10 years now. And um, I have over 400 brushes easily. And this is soft. This is pretty, pretty soft. I really, really love their look. They're so slick. Ooh, oh my God. All right, so this is Cut Barnes number 66, and it's a half of a fan brush or a fan brush. It's very narrow, really nice. Oh my God, so soft. So I seen him apply makeup on JLo and um, Tati. And he uses this for blush. And honestly, I only watched one video of someone reviewing his brushes. And I think she did a good job because she was just basically running through all the brushes. Um, I knew I wanted to get this brush set because it's so beautiful. And I always spoil myself with the brand new brush set for my birthday every year, which is how I ended up having so many brushes. But this is a fan brush. You can definitely use this for highlight because it's nice and narrow. You can use it for blush because it will give you a nice soft wash of color. You can use it for a soft contour as well because it fits in those tiny little narrow parts of the face. If you wanted to dustly, uh, to softly dust translucent powder all over it, you definitely could because it's really givey. See that? Like it wiggles, which means it's a very light, soft um, brush. But ooh, that's pretty. So nice. Beautiful. I love it. Now, the third brush is a Scott Barnes number 64, and this is your pointed egg shape brush. This is really, really pretty, really soft. Like this is so far, I think the softest. I don't know, it feels, it's pretty soft. I love these type of brushes to set powder underneath my eyes. 
I also like this when I want to contour a little tighter and make things a little more chiseled and more concentrated. I love it how soft it is. I mean, I would use it for blush because it is very givey. See how it just kind of opens up like that, which is nice because then you can kind of put on your blush without getting that concentration on there. It's a beautiful, beautiful narrow brush and it does fit underneath my eye really nicely. I, I feel like it, really pretty. And they have a nice weight to them. They're light, they're not too, too heavy, not too light. They just feel really nice. And um, I haven't used them yet. This is the first impression, so um, no shedding. No hair is literally coming off of these. Really nice. Whoa, this is very different. Look at that. So it's dense. I think it doesn't say this is Scott Barnes number 65. This is definitely a cream liquid foundation brush. Very dense, which means it will spread the foundation nice and thin onto your complexion. It is really cool shape. This will be awesome for contouring with creams and liquids because it's so dense that you can definitely just put the product there and just push it in and the brush will kind of spread the product for you. It's beautiful. I don't think I have a brush in this shape in my collection. Um, again, really nicely made. It's your regular length makeup brush with like the regular handle. Um, very dense. This would, this was, this is nice. Ooh, I can't wait to put foundation with this. Oh, so excited. This is number Scott Barnes 68. It's a dual fiber brush. I This is not new to my collection. I have a few of these. My first brush like this, I bought 10 years ago. It was my first like real nice set that I bought for myself. Um, anyways, a dual fiber brush is really great for stippling your foundation in, especially if you have um, large pores, acne scarring, a lot of texture onto the face. When you stipple, and this is the motion of stippling, bouncing up and down onto your face. When you stipple with the brush, it micro pixels everything, so it really pushes things into your skin, making everything looking to make it look more like skin. So I really like this. I also love this for when you're using a very high intensity blush because it really shears it out and it makes it look like airbrush onto the skin. This was like a really hot brush for a few years and I think he's bringing it back with this brush. It's really beautiful, super soft, really, really soft. I. Ooh, I haven't used this stipple brush in such a long time. But this is really nice, I really like it. All right, so that was the first five brushes, the face brushes. And again, to just take a beautiful look at them. They're so nice. All right, now eye brushes. So this is Scott Barnes number 62. This is your crease brush. A blending brush it is really soft I mean really really soft very pointy but very soft it fits into the pocket of your crease like a glove and then you can just wow this is beautiful really nice this is really nice for people when if you don't know where your crease is, just push your brush, and then when you find where you're pushing your eyeball, that's your crease. So you just get in there. This is really beautiful. Oh, they're so soft, so soft. Next up, Scott Barnes number 63. It is a angle fan brush for the eyes. I think Scott wants you to blend your outer crease with this. I think I would use this more so for myself for nose contouring, which I kind of know he's not a big fan of, but I love nose contouring. 
on myself and on clients. Um, it fits right there so nicely. It's like the perfect shape for when you wanna create that real, realistic, defining, changing, and bone structure kind of look. Um, it's nice and dense, super soft, and um, very unique. I don't have anything in my collection that looks like this. This is really nice, and um, I can see myself using this a lot. Even maybe to um, touch up concealer, but yeah, really nice. All right, so Scott Barnes number 61. This one, again, very unique shape, super dense. I mean, very, very dense. Can you see that? This would be great to apply primer onto your eyelids, um, concealing underneath the eyes, and um, maybe using cream eyeshadows as well. I really like it. It's super different. I don't have anything whoop, like this in my collection, and it's tapered this way and this way, so I, I really, really like that. This is Scott Barnes number 60. Now this brush, I'm pretty sure he wants you to use it for lipsticks because it has that perfect Cupid's bow shape right there. See, you can kind of get in there and it's nice and thin so you can go around the rim of your lips and fill that in. You can also pack in your brushes with this. So this could be your packing brush for color because you know it will give you a nice Ooh, this would be perfect for cutting your crease. Snatch away right there because it's nice and fine. It's very soft, but yet dense and firm. Soft bristles, but firm. You know what I mean? Like just enough give to pack the colors in. So yeah, this is really, really nice. Brush is Scott Barnes number 59, and it is a angled cut brush. It is very fine. I love how fine it is. It's firm, but soft. This is gonna be my jam for filling in my eyebrows. I can totally see myself creating a wing liner with this with powder because it feels really nice on my eyes. I must say, I don't have sensitive skin or anything like that, but if the brush is not soft and I touch my eyes and it feels scratchy, I immediately wanna throw it in the garbage. Um, this is really nice for that. And I also have seen them using this for um, lining the lips as well with the lipstick because of the, it's so nice and sharp. If you're really not good at filling in somebody's lips, this brush will definitely help you with that. And um, it's really pretty. I really like how short it is because if it's too long and it gives too much, but yeah, number 59. So here it is, the five eye brushes. Um, I think this is an amazing set. Even if you get just the eye brushes or just the face brushes, I think this is money well spent. $239 for 10 brushes. It's a really good deal. It's definitely cheaper than getting a Carmel Macchiato at Starbucks every day. So 10 brushes cost $239, free shipping. They do offer after pay. So it's a four um, divided payment plan for you to be able to access these brushes. Scott Barnes, thank you so much for this beautiful set of brushes. I really appreciate you sharing all of your wisdom online with us. I appreciate you taking the time to create these beautiful, amazing, I can't wait to use them, super soft brushes. And um, if you're a professional makeup artist like myself, like Scott Barnes, like anyone in the industry of making other people beautiful, um, this is a nice investment to make. I am very happy that I finally got my hands on to this amazing collection. I'm so excited to own these brushes and um, yeah, I can't wait to get more stuff from Scott Barnes. If you're interested in buying these, they are available at scottbarnes.com and if you wanna see these in action, um, you can follow him on Instagram at scottbarnes68. So right there. All right, so once again, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Scott Barnes full brush. Um, uh.